Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to write a simple motion detection algorithm using OpenCV and Python. Good thing about this algorithm is that it is very simple but is still efficient in detecting the motion of any object. So without wasting any time, let's start writing the code. Now first of all, I will create a new Python file and I will name it as motion detector. Now I will import the OpenCV package. Now make sure that it is already installed in your system and in case it is not installed in your system then go to the terminal and write there pip install opencv python and then press enter but because it is already installed in my system so i'm not going to install it again now let's come back to the python file now i will load the video which i have right now but first of all let me show you the video and this is the video I have right now and you can see that the vehicles are moving in this video so they are in motion so our program should be able to detect these motion now let me close this now here I will create an object of video capture class and then I will provide the name of my video file now after loading the video file I will use a while loop to access its frame one by one and inside it I will write img equals to cap dot read now this should provide me the frames of the video so I will check whether I get the frame or not and in case I do not get the frame then I will simply break the loop but in case I get the frame so I will display it on the screen so I will use the I am show function and inside it I will provide the name of the window and then the frame and then I will give some waiting time so I will use wait key function let's give the waiting time of 30 milliseconds now in the end I will release the capture object so I will write cap dot release And after this I will destroy the window so I will I will use destroy all windows function now I think the code is fine let's run it now you can see that our program is displaying the video file now let me close this now first of all I would like to resize the frames of my video because they are quite large and there is no need to process the larger frames. So I will use the resize function of OpenCV and this will take two arguments. First one is our frame and second is the size of the frame which we want. Now after this I will convert the frames into grayscale so I will use CVT color function and this will take two arguments first one is our frame and the second argument is the conversion type so I will set it to BGR to gray and this will provide us the grayscale frames now let me show you the result so I will write here gray now let's run the code now you can see that our frames has been resized and converted into grayscale now the next step is to detect the motion from our video 
and the technique we are going to use here is background subtraction actually here we will make an assumption that anything which is completely static and unchanging in our video we will consider it as the background and any change and anything which is changing in our video we will consider it as the foreground and then we will separate the foreground from background but there the question how will we separate the background from foreground and the answer is that we will consider that the we will actually we will assume that the first frame of our video was completely static hence we can consider it as our background and if any change occur with respect to this frame then we will consider this change as the foreground hence it will be very easy to detect the foreground by separating it from the background so here first of all i will apply the gaussian blur and then i will provide my frame and then i will provide the kernel size because i want to apply the gaussian blur heavily so i will give a large kernel size of 35 by 35 and then i will write here zero now this step is very important and you need to understand that even the two consecutive frames of any camera streaming or video cannot be completely identical there will always be some variation in the pixel intensities of the two frame and this is because no matter what camera you are using the camera sensor is not perfect in accurately capturing the image and that's why this variation in the pixel intensities exists but we want to remove it because this is not because of motion and that's why we have applied the gaussian blur heavily now after this i will model the background frame but first of all here i will set it to none so here i will write background frame equals to none so initially there will be no background frame and then in the while loop i will check if there is no background frame then i will assign a background frame And note that this condition will only be true for the very first iteration of the while loop and for the next coming iterations the background frame will always remain constant. Now after this I will find the absolute difference between the current frame and the background frame. So I will use absolute difference function of OpenCV. and inside it I will provide background frame and the second argument is the current frame now this will provide me the difference between the two frames and then I will apply the thresholding on the difference so I will use threshold function and inside it I will provide frame delta and then the threshold value as 25 and maximum value as 255 and then I will specify the thresholding type as binary now actually what we are doing here is that if any pixel intensity in frame, del frame delta is less than 25 then we will set it to 0 and if any pixel intensity is greater than 25 then we will set it to 255 and it will appear as white now let me show you the result so i will use i am show function and then i will provide the name to the window and then the thresholded image now let's run the code okay there is an error okay this function is providing us values so we need two variables now you can see that anything which is moving in our video is appearing as white and we can make this detection further better more better by applying the dilation 
so here I will write trash and then I will use the dilate function and inside it I will provide the thresholded image and here I will write none and then I will provide the iteration I will set it to 6 now let's run the code again now you can see that the detections are more better than before now let me close this now the next step is to find the contours so here I will write contours comma hierarchy and then I will use find contour function of OpenCV and inside it I will provide the thresholded image and then I will specify the two algorithms which will be used to find the contours. Now after finding the contours, I will pick the contour one by one. So I will use a for loop and inside it I will find the coordinates of the rectangle for each contour. So I will use bounding rect function. and then I will provide the contour as argument. Now after finding the coordinates of rectangle, I will draw the rectangle. So I will use rectangle function and then I will provide my actual frame which is IMG and then the coordinates of the rectangle and then I will specify the color of the rectangle and then the thickness now I will like to put some text above the rectangle so I will use put text function and then I will provide the actual frame which is IMG and then the text which I want to put and then I will provide the origin of the text and then I will specify the font type and after this I will give the font scale as 0 0.5 and then I will specify the color of the text and the last argument is the thickness of the text and I will set it to 2. Now I will replace it by IMG and let's run the code. Now you can see that our program is detecting the moving object and it is working very well. But let me tell you that it has its own limitation. For example, this program will not work if the background is not static or the camera is not in a fixed position. Further, it is not going to work if the lightning conditions are not constant. So next time we will see a more better way to detect the motion of any object. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching.